Okay, the next set of re uh, next set of muscles that we're going to be taking a look at is going to be the abdominal muscles. Now, there's actually not that many to go through, but just some things to keep in mind. One thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a look for where the linea alba is. Depending on how these cats have been sitting while they're preserved and everything, the linea alba is not going to be directly in the middle. Um, it might be off to the side a little bit, just according to how the intestines have. Uh, have settled and things like that as they're packaged. But to either side right here and right here we're going to find two abdominal muscles that sit right on top. These are called the rectus abdominis. Now I tend to think of rectus as rex or king who sits upon a throne and rectus muscles will sit on top of a certain region. So rectus abdominis are muscles that sit right on top of the abdominal region. It's a good way to remember it. Um, now, as we move to the side of this, we're going to find our oblique muscles. Now, these actually are not as tricky to identify as people would think. What you need to keep in mind that is that there are multiple sheets found on top. And what you want to do is you want to find the little uh, spot where the color changes a little bit. And you can see right here that there's a line that separates, and it's basically just fascia that holds it there and there's a line that separates where my external obliques join, join into just regular fascia. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my scalp and I'm just going to follow, just like with, the, with pectoral muscles, I'm going to follow that line and just very, very lightly scratch away. I'm not really doing any cutting. I'm going to scratch away that fascia, tying the external obliques to the rest of the body. Okay. Now, as I do that, I can lift up the sheet of the external oblique. Try to keep this centered for you so you can see better. And work my way down. And I can pull this sheet away. Now, what you're going to find is a bunch of fascia holding it to the next layer of muscle that lies directly underneath. Now the top muscle again is called the external abdominal oblique. This layer underneath is going to be the internal obliques. Now one way to keep these straight or one thing to be looking for if you're going to be uh, doing some dissections and you have questions as to which one is which, obviously external is going to be on the outside, internal is going to be on the inside, but if you take a look at how these are going to be separated in terms of fibers, this is going to be hard to see on the camera itself but as you take a look and as the cat dries out, I try to separate it out. You can't really see a whole lot from your vantage point, but all these fibers are gonna run downward. Now as I take a look at the internal obliques, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of separate this off. I'm not really cutting anything. I'm just separating out layers. It seems kind of gross from your standpoint, but actually the the layer of muscle is just a real thin piece of tissue. Now as I go in here, there's a lot of fascia covering uh, the muscle itself, so I can just pull that away, and there we're going to start to see, as I pull this, clear away some tissues, you're going to start to see another layer of muscle right here. Now these fibers are going to run straight up, and these fibers are, because they're running straight up, it indicates a new muscle, and that's called the internal abdominal obliques. External, the fibers are going to run down or caudally or posteriorly, to use some of the terminology from the first section. If we take a look, the fibers of the internal oblique are going to run up or medially and they're going to run anterior. Okay, so it's going to be a different track. Now, underneath that, let's see if we can find some. These are a little bit trickier to find. Again, you find where the, the line separates. And what you'll see right here is a line that separates. If I shave this down, again, just scratch away some of that. We might be lucky and we might be able to find muscles that run straight across. And I'm just going to pull a small piece away. I don't want to cut into the abdominal cavity, and that's quite often the mistake that's being made. If I pull that away, you're going to find some fibers that run straight across or transversely. And so we've got external abdominal oblique, we've got internal abdominal oblique, and then we've got transversus abdominis. So if I can do an overview, for abdominal muscles it's actually pretty easy. Rectus abdominis in the middle, 
external obliques are going to be on the side and they run down internal abdominal obliques and they run up at an angle and underneath that I know the clarity isn't very good um, these just aren't developed in the cat very well they run straight across and transverses. I'm sure your cat will be much more developed than this one.